I'm Kia Miller, and I'm really excited to share with you today so that you can understand a little bit about the holistic approach that this practice offers. Kundalini Yoga is a valid and powerful pathway to take you to your authentic self and to keep strengthening your ability to be you and to share your light and to share that which you've come here specifically to share. It works with us in such a way, the practices work with us in such a way that we move through a lot of the different layers of conditioning that we come to the mat with, whether it's societal conditioning, cultural conditioning, family conditioning, or personal life experience conditioning, all the ways that we've started to slowly limit ourselves um, or, or get stuck in old beliefs. So that kind of stuff just starts to peel away as you get into the Kundalini Yoga practice. And we transform from the inside out. You probably have to experience it yourself to really understand that. The moment that I had that experience, I just knew that this was the path for me. I knew that uh, this was a way that I was going to continue to grow and, um, and thrive in life. And that's truly been my experience with Kundalini Yoga. So I'm excited to share with you. So the Kundalini practice offers us this complete approach to a holistic experience of ourself. Um, the physical body, obviously, we carry trauma in the physical body. It gets into the cells, it gets into the tissues, the memory of it. So as we're moving and breathing within the practices, we are somatically releasing this old trauma. And so we not only loosen up on, on the physical muscular level and uh, lubricate the joints, but we also start to release this old memory, um, which then makes more energy available for us in our daily life. So the physical part of the practice is, is really important. Part of the magic of the Kundalini Yoga practice is the way that it stimulates the glandular system in the physical body. It stimulates the lymphatic system, digestive system, circulatory system, all of it. Um, all of the different body systems get, get harmonized. Part of the practice of yoga is learning to be able to witness your experience, to witness your physical body, to witness the movement of energy, to witness your emotions pass through the inner landscape, and to notice which thoughts you tend to grip onto and identify with, and to learn to create enough space that we're not identifying fully with that emotion or those thoughts. And so we're able to be more neutral in our life, more neutral, more steady in our approach, to everything that we're doing. So this pranic level of our being is really important. And I think it offers the keys to us really thriving in life and us tapping into uh, our creativity on a whole other level, that level of creativity that is beyond the mind and the intellect. But it's that moment that you've probably had many of these in your life where you just have that, that, that flow in your life that is effortless, where creativity is just coming through you. What happens in the Kundalini Yoga practice is you learn how to access that state at will. So you're not just waiting for the, the, the moment when it might happen spontaneously. You have the tools to actually uh, move through blocks to stimulate your energy and create a real state of presence and creativity that can help you to thrive in all areas of your life. And so Kundalini Yoga allows us to access that stillness multiple times throughout a Kriya. And a Kriya is, is uh, a sequence of postures designed in Kundalini Yoga to bring about a certain effect. So they work with the physical body, they work with the pranic body, they subtly direct the flow of energy so that we have a desired uh, effect from them. 
Some of them work on the pituitary gland, some of them work on the spine, some of them work on the lungs and the heart, some of them stimulate digestion. So there's many different kriyas, different energetic formulas that we can do within the kundalini practice that will help to facilitate growth in our life in whatever area that we need it. For me, I, I needed to work my navel when I came into kundalini yoga because that's where we find our sense of self. When I found my sense of self, I had a little bit of ground, a little bit of foundation of something that I could then start to uh, grow upon um, and to, to find my path in life. I feel like before I started this degree of practice, I was still looking for satisfaction in the outer world. I hadn't yet learned to find that satisfaction in myself. And the, the moment we do that, this is the magic of it all, the outer world just starts to shift and change to reflect what you're thinking and feeling about yourself. So this practice, in the way it works on all these different levels of our being, helps us to access our our identity, our beingness, our purpose, you could say, where we can really uh, live the life of our dreams. So when I said at the beginning, this course will transform you, the moment you start to pay attention to yourself and all the different layers of who you are, you start to transform. You can't stay the same. The moment you start to self-reflect, you will start to self-correct. You will start to see the areas that you are holding yourself back and you'll be able to choose differently. Uh, Kundalini Yoga, I believe, offers us a, uh, a pathway that's so unique and powerful and allows us to be unique in our expression in the world and to not have to conform to what we believe others want us to do or think we should do. And the moment we do that, the moment we take back our own authority in that way and we start to live from our own inner truth of what we know uh, we need to do and how we need to act and how we uh, choose to engage in the world. The moment we do that, we, we are giving everyone else permission to do the same. When you get onto this kundalini train, you're on a journey and, uh, and you're going to go through various stages of it. So you kind of just buckle your seat and you strap up and you get ready for the ride of your lifetime.